So this is Bank Nifty and a 15 minute chart. Now according to the projection method, Bank Nifty is running in a downtrend. Let me show you. So we have seen they are creating new lower low and a lower high. Right. So they are creating lower low and lower high. So uh, if you want to see according to moving average, uh, moving average, uh, 50 moving average, uh, this red one, uh, still running 150 moving average. So that means according to moving average, price are still running in an uptrend, but uh, in price action method, they are creating lower low, lower high. Now in this area, most of the trade are uh, confusing and uh, they are entering in a wrong place. So let me show you why this market right now not for trade. All right. So if you want to see in this area, we have seen 200 exponential and 200 simple moving average both are forming a strong support in this area. So that is why we never going to take any sell point, right? We never going to enter for sell direction. All right. So once they break, so we'll continue toward the sell. This is first criteria to enter in this market. But if you want to enter for the buy, we must wait to break uh, this uh, resistance line. Have you seen? So I connected most uh, recent swing high point. Have you seen here? First swing point, second swing point, and the third swing point. And right now, price is here. So this zone called no traded zone. So most of the people are entering here for the buy or some people are entering for the sell. So here in this area, we never seen any high probability entry point, right? So if you want to enter for the buy, we must wait to break this resistance line. So we'll go for buy. And for the sell, we must wait to break the level of 31,600, right? Once they break, so we'll wait for retrest. So don't enter blindly direct for the sort, for the sell. So we must wait to break this level and price will retrace, which is right now following as a, a support and later they will follow as a resistance right and we will start selling near this resistance line is it clear let me show you in which direction uh, it is better to enter in this market so that is why let's just jump to daily chart first so in a daily chart we have seen prices running up trend and clearly all moving averages are arranging sequentially so that is why we are looking for buy only next four hour we have seen in a four hour chart trend also running in an uptrend so we are looking for buy and let me show you some support and resistance so in this area we have seen this is called zone supporting zone so that is why i told you to not enter here in between this zone have you seen because this both uh, this line you can see uh, here we have seen higher point and here higher point here, right? So that is why we have seen this is called supporting range. All right. So let's check it in a four hour chart. In a four hour chart, we have seen in this area 20 moving averages are there exactly in the lower uh, supporting line here. Have you seen? So this area are respecting multiple time means uh, 20 moving average. Have you seen price just bounce from 20 moving average, retrace toward moving average again, bounce from uh, 20 moving average, retrace near 20, bounce, retrace, bounce and retracing. So if most of the people are entering here for the sell, uh, so most of the people are trying to enter sell, you can see it is a probability to reverse back from this area because all are like a daily and four hour both are running uh, in an afternoon right so we are not looking for sort in this area all right 
So that means now we are looking for buy only. So let's just jump to 15 minute again. Now you can see it just look like that. So that is why I told you if you want to enter for the buy, so we must wait to break this level. And in this case, we will use here bounce, uh, sorry, breakout trading strategy. I think who people are following me, they come to know uh, bounce back trade, uh, what, what is the meaning of bounce back trading strategy. All right. So now you can see why I drawn this line because this is most recent swing higher point, right? They are rejecting uh, three times from this area. So we are looking for a breakout once they break this resistance line, we'll start buying from this area. All right. So if you want to use some like uh, MSD or something like that, in this area, we'll see uh, the seller momentum are reducing. Let me show you how we calculate the seller momentum. Not only momentum. Uh, so in, the, in this case, we can say seller momentum, right? So let me show you exactly here. Now, uh, let me draw some uh, line here. You can see when I connected these two lower point, we have seen price is pointing toward downside. Have you seen? Now, when I'm connecting in this area, so you can see they are pointing toward upside. So that means uh, according to MSCD, they are indicating that the seller momentum are reducing so that is why we're looking for buy after breaking uh this trend line right once they break so we'll start buying from this area all right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching